All right, we have some model magic here. We're going to open this up. This is going to be our ice cream. Uh, let's divide it into three sections. So one, two, three. This would be half, but let's get three ice cream cones. And then we're going to roll it in a ball, a sphere in our palms. Then we can press it down and start forming our scoop of ice cream. I want to try to get that curved line up here, but then down here gets to be a little bit uh, scalloped or textured. You can use a pencil to get in there like that. We could take our eraser and make some texture like that. So it is a little bit bumpier where it meets our ice cream cone. So you play around and get some good texture on your ice cream. If you wanted to make it a certain color, I'll show you how to do Let's that. Let's say we wanted chocolate ice cream. Open this up and it doesn't need to be exact and you're going to color it with whatever color you want your ice cream to be. Then we will start stretching and closing. This will help me keep my hands a little bit clean and it will start mixing in the model magic. I got a real creamy ice cream now, chocolate ice cream. If you want it darker, you would do the same thing. If you want this to be moose tracks, I already have some uh, swirls of marshmallow. I think I'm going to keep that, so I'll go ahead, get it back into my sphere, press it out. Oh, there's my moose track up there. And then get your edges where it meets the cone. I did this one a little differently. I'm playing around to see which one I like best. Uh, this one I think I'll open up and I think I'll make it strawberry. We know that when we add white to a color, we get a tint. So when I add this strawberry, I'm going to get, with the white, it should be pink. Press it out. Get your ice cream texture scoop. All right, we've got our cones, three cones for three scoops. If you need to trim them to fit your ice cream, you can do that. You're just going to cut, um, you know, to make the cone smaller, you can cut a line right like that. Uh, let's make some texture on our cones. I'm going to do diagonal lines. And opposite diagonal to give it that waffle cone texture or sugar cone texture. Ready to glue our cones down to our background. Put a little glue. Make sure there's a finger space so you don't have glue running out the side. If you do, then that will make your ice cream wet. So find a spot in the center. Start with the center one. Leaving room at the top for my ice cream. And now I can place my ice cream scoops. a little glue on there. What kind of ice cream do you have? Do you have ice cream that has 
chunks of chocolate in it or berries. Do you have an ice cream cone that has a cherry at the top? I think I'll put a cherry at the top of this one. You can push it in or add just a little bit of glue to get it to sit. Uh, maybe I want some little chocolate chips. Here's a big one. If you also want to add some sauce on top, you can. Let's see how that might work. If I have a strawberry sauce at the top, I could use my marker to have some dripping down. Color it in. further down. You can add some more little details on the top. Maybe I'll have a cherry on this one too. And there we have a relief. That means that it comes off the page of our Model Magic ice cream scoops. If you have time, you can even add some details in the background. Maybe you want some more patterns.